2023. Peter B never gave detailed explanation on how to solve Nigeria's power issues. Reno Omokri, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Former presidential aide Reno Omokri has disclosed that the Labour Party LP flag bearer Peter B never gave a detailed explanation on how to solve Nigeria's power issues. Womokri disclosed this on Sunday in a post via his official Instagram page, expressing that the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar did not dodge the question or generalize when he was asked the same question during an interview. He said, The six of why should I vote Atiku? When Waziri Atiku was asked by the Arise television crew on July 22, 2022, how he intended to solve Nigeria's power challenge, he did not dodge the question or we generalize. He gave a very detailed answer, which if implemented will solve Nigeria's power issues. He said, when you de decentralize gener generation in my zone, like the northeast, we have too many dams idling. If you go to the northwest, they also have many large dams idling already. You need to install turbines and then generate electricity. If you go to the south-south, then you can use whatever form of energy that is available, whether it is gas, hydro, or even coal. After all, the entire eastern region was supplied by coal from Enugu at that time. No other presidential candidate has given... No other presidential candidate was given No other presidential candidate has given such a detailed and effective answer to the question of Nigeria's greatest challenge access to electric power. Three days after Atiku's interview, Peter B was interviewed on channels television. Okay. Three days after Atiku's interview, Peter B was interviewed on Channel Television by Son Okim Baloye, and he was asked the same question. Rather than in answer the question, Mr. B redirected the interview to Radio Singapore and Dubai later had written on the issue. He said, That's what we are first and foremost. Let me start by referring you to go and read both what Lee Kuns, you of Singapore said to the ruler of um, Dubai. The ruler of Dubai, their own being recent, he said what he does to, is to learn from other countries, what they're doing right, and bring it back to Dubai and do it right. So for me, I go to where people have done the right thing to learn. Egypt, Vietnam, and India have deployed the fastest electricity program in the past five years. That interview is still on Channel Television YouTube channel. It is clear why Wazir Atiku has a plan, P2B is still learning, and has nothing has yet to come up with a plan, and that if... And that if and when he does comes up with a plan, it will not be a homegrown plan, but a foreign model, which is not designed for Nigeria peculiar challenges, or may or may be designed for Nigerian peculiar challenges, or may or may not work for us. So I say it will be no give, uh, what's it called, step by step, a single issue, did not give a blueprint on solving power issues. All right. Please, can you give it to us on his behalf? It is like Renault does not even know the party belongs to anymore. I use God's name, take back on now. Because I leave Renault alone. All right. Your article should give his own now. You guys should focus on your campaign and let P2B be. We know you are trying to copy from him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let P2B be when his supporters are attacking anything, intimidating or be a political aspiration. What you give is what you get. Like, I don't understand. I don't just understand, Sha. All right. Reno, please ask your candidate to provide his blueprint on power. Then we can now see and know and see if P2B will not give his plans. P2B initiated consumption to production idea. The federal government have copied as an agenda. He talked about uniting Nigeria. You and your principals have copied. 
He said he will stabilize power supply and you are still asking how. Just be obedient, simple. All right. All right. Every time rain and a big detail plant, if you ask which detail plant has Satik Wantunibu has ever given before. Hmm. All right. You want Esco, isn't it? He will not tell you. He will not tell you if that is what you want. Wait till he gets there because if he should say to you and, and others of you like, it's sabotage his, sabotage his efforts. Look at this Ranserox as being a copycat. When you keep learning like Obi, you're up to date. But when you keep learning like Atiku, you're obsolete. When something becomes obsolete, when something is obsolete, you throw it away because it has become useless. As Vice President, he headed the IPP and after squandering 166 billion naira, we billion dollars rather, we are here, we are today. Why? Because it's just obsolete. It is madness to keep repeating the process and repeating and expecting a different outcome or result. Bishop Wedepo said the day you stop learning, you start dying. Hatiku has already decomposed because he stopped learning, according to you, a long time ago. The Sage also said that if you are not informed, you are deformed. Hatiku. Okay. Because it has become useless. As Vice President, he headed the IPP and after squandering... 106 okay 16 billion dollars rather after spending 16 billion dollars you were where we are today why after why because it's just obsolete it is madness to keep re repeating a process and be expecting a different result bishop oyedepo said the day you stop learning you start dying article had already decomposed because you stopped learning according to you a long time ago the sergeant also said that if you're not informed you're deformed so, since Atiku stopped learning a long time ago, he has been deformed beyond recognition already. For Nigeria to move forward, we need a learning informed president. We know your gimmicks. Both Atiku and Tenebu are waiting for B to tell, to roll out his manifesto so that they can copy. What did they know than choking up ethnic or religious sentiment? That is why I said they are obsolete because because they do not know that Nigerians have moved on from any religious-based politics to issue-based politics. Technology is, after all, thinking knowledge. Obi is thinking and learning. That is why he stands out among them. You and Atiku have started packing already, so make one pack well and mix and make we and make we pass. I beg. <laughs> all right, in this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in.